So, so far we looked at common factory. We looked at difference of squares. And now we're going to look at something called sum and product. They're all process of factoring. Okay, all of them we are factoring. The greatest common factor is the one that you always have to think about first. Okay? Greatest common factor can happen in, with a combo of something else. Okay? We'll talk about that tomorrow. Okay? When I have mixed factoring, where I do greatest common factor first and then um, something else. Difference of squares only happens when you have a binomial squared binomial with a minus. Sum and product only happens when you have a trinomial. Okay? So you need to have three terms in order for you to be able to do the sum and product. And here's what happens. So remember that my, my standard form is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. We're going to use the sum and product in this course only when a is 1. Okay? So you won't have any factoring where A is not equal to 1 because then it's a totally different process. Okay? So A, and this is the process that we're going to do. So remember that your letters A, B, okay, B is the coefficient of X and C is the number that's by itself. So how do I factor when I have something that looks like this? ax squared, so x squared plus 4x minus 12. How can I factor this? So you're looking at the terms b and c. Okay? Your b is 4 and your c is negative 12. You're going to look for terms that multiply to c and add to b. And that's why it's called sum and product. Because I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to something and add to something. Okay? So, we're always looking for two numbers. They have to multiply to the C and add to B. Are we Yes. So what's your C? I'm just going to erase this and write it so I can have more space, okay? So I'm looking for something that multiplies to negative 12 and add to B, so add to 4. All right. And here is where this is going to come in hand. You see that B is positive and C is negative, right? Do you guys see that? So on your chart, you're going to look at B positive and C negative. So B positive and C negative, that will be this row right here, right? So the third row, B is positive and C is negative, right? Do you see that? So that means I'm going to have two numbers. The large one has to be positive number and the small one has to be negative. Okay? So let's think about some numbers. What multiplies to 12? 4 and 3. 6 and 2. 12 and 1. Anything else? Anything else? Okay. This says that they have, the large one has to be positive and the small one has to be negative. Okay? So the large is positive, the small is negative. The large is positive, the small is negative. The large is positive, the small is negative. Okay? So, I found my multiples of 12. Now I'm going to have to look at which ones add to 4. Because that would be my answer. Okay? What's 4 minus 3? 1. What's 6 minus 2? What's 12 minus 1? So you see there's only one combo that adds to 4, right? Which is 6 and negative 2. 
So that means my factors are 6 and negative 2, and this is how I'm going to factor it. So bracket, you're going to do x squared the first because, because this is x squared, so that's going to be x. And then you're going to put the first factor in the first bracket, so that's going to be plus 6. And then you're going to put the second factor in the second bracket, so that's going to be minus 2. So my factor is x plus 6 times x minus 2. Exactly. Exactly. So you're looking for two numbers. When you multiply them, it's going to give you C, which is negative 12. And when you add them, they're going to give you 4. That's it. Yes. Okay. Let's see if that works. I'm just checking my work just so, so I see that actually it is true. So if I'm going to FOID, right? Because the opposite of factoring is FOIDing. Expanding. X times X? X times negative 2? 6 times X? 6X. 6 times negative 2? Let's collect like terms. So I have X squared, negative 2X plus 6X minus 12. Is that what I started with? Like the one on the pink sheet. So go, go, go look at it. No. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. This is me like. Oh. Yeah. All right. I just got something. All right. Let's see. Oops. I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to what and add to what. You can't just say multiply to. Multiply to 12, add to 8. You have to be very specific, okay? That you're multiplying to C, you're adding to B. What multiplies to 12? Again, 3 and 4, 1 and 12, 6 and 2, okay? Because both B and C are positive, then both my terms are going to be positive. Okay? Very important you look at this. Okay? Both B and C are positive. That means both of them are going to be positive. 3 and 4 gives me 7. 1 and 12 gives me 13. 6 and 2 gives me 8. So this is, these are my factors. Right? So 6 and 2 are my factors. So I go x plus 6. x plus 2. Boom, I'm done. And then your first factor, you close the bracket, open another one, x, and then your second factor. So it doesn't matter, like, which one goes No. Matter. So I could write x plus 2, x plus 6. That's the same thing. Right? That's the same thing. So for the x, you mean? It's always going to be that x. Yes, yes. So you see that both of these factors are positive, right? Right? So that's what goes in here. No, it depends on which one is minus and which one's plus, like we did here, right? Right? In this case, the, the big one had to be positive, the small one had to be negative, right? So the big one ha is positive and the small one is negative. So my factors decide what goes here. Okay. Try the next one. Try the next one for me. If it's a negative. If it's 
So we're looking for two numbers that multiply to what? 18. Negative 18. So multiply to negative 18 and add to what? Negative 7. Negative 7. So what multiplies to negative 18? 6 and 3. Now, okay, eyes on me. Both of them are negative, so where do I go? The last one. So my large number is going to be negative and my small is going to be positive. Okay? So you said 6 and 3. Negative 6 and 3. Okay, what else? Multiply to negative 18. 2 and 9. 2 and 9. So 9 and 2, and I have negative 9. Okay, what else? Negative 18 and 1. Okay, what does this add to? You technically don't have to show me all of this. Okay? If you know, but it makes it easier for you probably, right? Negative 3. So, so my factor is going to be x minus 9 x plus 2, okay, because that's minus 9 and 2, okay, I want you to try the next ones, okay, and then um, you can check your answer with the person sitting next to you or with me.